the officials appointed by the World Boxing Association, their supervisor, Mr. Michael Walsh from New Jersey, the timekeeper, Mr. Alex McKenzie, and the judges scoring the contest at ringside on the 10 must system, Mr. Ricardo Duncan from Panama, Mr. Glenn Feldman from the USA, and Mr. Cesar Ramos from Puerto Rico. And when the action begins, ladies and gentlemen, our third man in the ring this evening from France, our referee, Mr. Jean-Louis Legrand. The Boxing Union of Ireland is President, Mr. Mel Crystal at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight at Dublin's fabulous O2 Arena, live and exclusive on RTE, Brian Freedom Promotions in association with our sponsors, Hunky Dory, it's time for World Championship Boxing! Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Freedom Promotions in association with sponsors, Hunky Dory, present a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the WBA Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. And introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trim with red. He comes from Sakon Neon in Thailand, and weighed in at the championship limit of 122 pounds, 8 stone, 10 pounds. His outstanding record of 39 contests reads 38 wins, 27 by knockout, with just one solitary loss. He comes to the ring tonight, the Pan-Asian Boxing Association's Super Bantamweight Champion, ranked number one by the WBA, and the mandatory challenger for the title, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Thailand's Pootswat Kratting Dejim! And across the ring in the ring corner, where are the land trunks should be gone. He weighed in at 121 and a half pound, eight stone, nine and a half pound. His record is equally as impressive. 29 contests, 28 wins, 15 by way of knockout, with one solitary loss. He's the former three times Irish champion and former Super Bantamweight champion of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he stands proudly in his corner as the WBA Super Bantamweight champion of the world. Mr. Jean-Louis Legrand will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Vous savez les recommandations d'usage que le meilleur gagne. Attention à la tête et là, ok? Good luck. This is a huge night for Bernard Dunn, huge for this man as well, Pumsalat. But for Dunn, there's the possibility, if he retains his title here in his native city, that he will get a fight against Israel Vasquez. They celebrated. Top man of this weight, although it might have to go to a, 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 a little higher, but away for the Dunn's first defense of the world title. Those who know these things, the people in our panel, the experts around, the managers all say the same thing. Done is to box and move, box and move, don't leave there, don't in guilt, get involved in the brawl, and just use his skill and he's got a lot of it. Tunsi Watkins it, finds the range, he'll throw threes and fours. He's not a single punch man at all. 
but done can be. Couple of good jabs from Berto there to serve that purpose. That's a good solid left jab there by Don. This is what we mean. Stick that jab out. Sometimes every four or five jabs you do, throw a real good solid one and knock his head back. This is what he wants to do. What he's doing right now is perfect. Stay away and don't get involved in the draw. Get out of the danger zone as quick as what you can once you offload your one or two shots. That's exactly the way Bernard Dunn is starting this absolutely textbook. Long way to go. That's it. He carried away. But he's jabbing and moving. Jabbing and moving. Get in, get out. Box and move. That's it. Tie him up on the inside. Don't let him work. Frustrate him. This is what Dunn has to do the whole way through this fight. Those who watched Dunn right from the beginning of his professional career will notice, even in the long shots here on television, how he's bulked up. Marvellous work by McGurn in the training camp. Nice defensive work, getting his body out of the way there by Bernard Dunn. And nicely jabs his way out of a tight corner. This is textbook stuff from the Irishman and the world champion. He says himself he's never been in such condition. And for the opening bell here, you'd certainly say that. Good stuff. But you can see from the little pieces we've seen, the punch of what can punch. And here he is on the inside. Once he gets inside, he throws twos and threes and he hooks. Still hasn't got an opportunity to get that sliver of light to throw the right uppercut. He's deadly dangerous with it. Good little fighter though. What a great little fighter. Waited a year and a half to get a goal a world title shot. Don Missy, that's not Missy with the left hook. He's a left hook specialist, Bernard. That was a beauty. Good stuff. What he's doing, doing right now, it's very, very, very good. He's, when he's in the danger zone, he throws two or three shots and moves away. Very good. Good stuff. But he has to maintain this, Jimmy. Doesn't want to get involved in a brawl at all. That's the message. Oh, good stuff. No brawls for Bernard. Punsawat, we told about his head. Bernard does carry a few marks around his face. The evidence of before battles. Not quite stars, but certainly marks. And around one, and that was certainly won by Bernard Dunn. I don't think there's the slightest doubt about that. Not on my card, not on Dave Boy Macaulay's, and not on yours, I'm sure. First class, good stuff from Dunn. He's doing exactly what he was told. When he's inside, he grabs on holes and it doesn't let Prince what unload those bombs that he's got in his armory but he has to make sure that when he off loses his punches either he grabs on or moves out of the way he doesn't want to stay there too long under no circumstances he's dropped the corner There's the new principal, the new mantra they have up there. This is the first round coming up. What's gone is gone. Let's work from here on. So in other words, it's an 11 rounder. But a very good start for Bernard Dunn. His height's definitely an advantage, and if you have the height advantage, you definitely have the reach advantage. So if he can keep it a distance. Box long, he can master this. So far, he's keeping Tunsawa a distance. The referee just gets a little irritated at the two fellows. But there's nothing totally untoward about it. Jab the right cross, perfect stuff, absolutely. Textbook from Dunn. Now Thompson has got the closeness he needs. In there he is a deadly danger. Bernard needs to jab and get away. See, this is what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to stand toe to toe. Get on his bike, get out of there. Like, deliver what you've got and move on. Deliver the milk and go to the next house. 
should not be mixing the ball. Get away. That's a lovely job in from Dunk. But Tonsawad is gaining in confidence and he's only round two. No, that's his done better. Dunkness toes away, jabbing with the left hand. But sometimes he's straight from, the, from straight left jab into a left hook right there. And that left hook to the ribs is a cracking punch. See, what do take one step to the side and bang a hook and then move away completely? You'll see standing here and then uh, doing nothing. If he wants to stand there, hold on, tie it, tie it to him, swat it. We don't let him unload those because those left hooks to the body and right hooks to the body.